Hey guys, welcome back to the third episode of this series. So in the last episode, what we have done, we have just uh, created our uh, custom block call to action and we just statically showed a message, hello Gutenberg. So uh, the plan of today is we are going to add uh, something that a user can interact with. So user will be able to add a title here and some content as well through some uh, fields and the field we are gonna use is called a rich text so let's go back into our code editor and at first uh, what we need for using this rich text uh, we need to import it uh, from the wordpress block editor but before that let's go to that uh, documentation first so i opened it into the browser so this is the area from where we are gonna use this rich, uh, rich text so there is the rich text uh, reference you can go through it uh, now we, we have uh, the es next uh, uh, example and also the es5 example as well because we are using es next so we are going to use this example or we are going to follow this example exactly so before that let's import our library first uh, or the field first so we are going to import like this so uh, let's do like from not form but from add wordpress uh, uh, slash block editor block editor now this package is not available to our plugin yet so we need to actually install it so let's open another console here and we're gonna do npm install uh, wordpress uh, slash block editor and dash dash save so let's hit enter so as you can see our package has been installed successfully so now we can uh, mention here the rich text like this and it is available uh, you can see the editor is giving us this suggestion so we can choose the rich text okay so let's close this so now our rich text is available but uh, before that uh, because uh, we are planning to add a title and a content uh, for our editor so uh, we need to add something in the attribute as well is it is act like a react, a react straight uh, sorry state so uh, let's define the title here and it will be an object and the type of this object uh, we will be string so we are accepting the string value from here and the source will be html and uh, the selector will be h2 meaning the HTML tag we are going to use and also let's define the content here like this and it does also a type and type should be the string as well and also we need to def uh, uh, we, we need to define the source and the source is HTML as well and also uh, the selector and selector should be the p tag okay so as far as the attribute is concerned we are done from here now let's uh, move into the uh, main section into the edit section and we are going to remove this return statement because we're not going to return anything like this so let's recreate the return statement okay it's gonna be like a method so it's gonna return something and inside that uh, we are gonna use a react, react fragment like this a blank tag th and that's gonna act as a react fragment because uh, re uh, you need to use a single uh, wrapping div around the return statement otherwise it's gonna throw uh, you some errors so inside that we are going to create a div with a class 
and we are gonna give a class here let's say call to action and this is our div so uh, inside that let's call the rich text so this is the rich text and it's a self-closing tag so we can do like this but it will have except some parameters as well so the first one is the key uh, uh, the key would be editable that will allow uh, you uh, the user to edit the things into the editor and the tag name the next one is the tag name and tag name should be h2 because we are going to use the use the h2 tag of the html and let's add a placeholder as well so placeholder as you can see our my editor is giving the suggestion which is very helpful if you import your package like this then you will have the ability to uh, from the uh, editor to know these things otherwise it will be very difficult to memorize all those things so icon box title and the next thing will be the value and this because this is a value which is coming from the state so we will we need to use the curly braces and said that we just mention the title but this way we will not use the title because uh, like this we need to um, use something like, like attributes or title but uh, like uh, if uh, if i am precisely telling uh, sorry not like this a double t r i p t s like this but the problem is it is very painful to always use attributes dot something attributes dot something so what actually we can do uh, at the top of our uh, return statement uh, what we can do actually we can grab those uh, all those attributes and uh, uh, you know uh, distract with uh, something like this so you can say const and it will be a something like that and because we do have many values into the attributes so that's why i am uh, doing things like vertically otherwise i will go this horizontal way it will be mo much more easier to read in the vertical way okay so let's do assign the attributes here so inside that what we can say we can say the title so this way we can now access not like this we do not need to have the attributes dot we can directly say just the title because we deconstruct it from here from the attributes so it will be much more readable and easier to use all right so the next thing uh, we need actually uh, is the uh, on change event because when user add something into the editor we need to update the value so we can say on change and for this we need to define a function name let's say set title and uh, and that should be it we do not need anything more so this is for the title now the problem is we just defined on change set title but we haven't actually uh, used it anywhere so we need to define it within the edit method remember not in the outside but within the edit method so at the top of the return statement we can say uh, set title so here we can say function and let's say set title and it's gonna grab the value from here and then what uh, what we can do wordpress does have a function and it is called set attributes by which you actually can change your attribute like this so if you want to update the title of this attribute you need to use the set title function to use it so uh, not the set title but the set attributes but because we are using this set title as an event listener from here so on on change event into the rich text we are gonna call the set attribute function so this is the set attribute function and in here we will just define the key of the object and we are just assigning the value that will graph from here all right so i think uh, we are pretty good here now uh, let's 
go back into into our editor uh, um, backend and let's check what happens actually okay so before that let's check into the script is there any error or not no it's running all right so let's go and hit a refresh and remember one thing into the gutenberg so whenever uh, anything has been changed uh, you need to remove the block and uh, reassigned it again so i will show you when we are we will work in the save method okay so as you can see our updated blog is here now so it is also showing the placeholder title so now if uh, if we change it like say um, uh, learn gutenberg all right so now if we hit update it stays updated and if we hit refresh you know it is not showing anything now why is that because we're just uh, write our code into the edit method but we haven't give anything into the save method all right so in order to do that we actually also need to write some code here so as before let's define a constant here and also let's uh, destruct it like this attributes and let's define the title here as well so at the bottom we also need to return not like this and here what we will do we also declare a react fragment like this empty tag that will work as a react fragment and here we need to uh, exactly mimic the div structure of the edit method so let's say call to action and inside that uh, what we will do we will uh, use the h2 tag because we are just hard codedly said that it will be in h2 so inside the h2 what we will need to do inside a curly braces we need to say the title so this rich text value has been converted into something like this and this one is our main uh, wrapper div you can say so now let's go back and let's uh, remove this div because it, otherwise it's gonna throw an error so let's refresh and add our call to action again okay so let's okay now let's hit update and let's check into the console if there is any error so it is totally fine no error so now let's refresh as you can see our value is staying now okay so this is how we actually can uh, use our value into the edit method as well as in the save method so quickly let's copy this and place it here actually for our content section so this time the tag name should be p and we can say icon box uh, content uh, goes here something like that and the value this time should be content and let's change this set title to set content and we need to define this method as well so we can say set content and function set content it's gonna grab the value and we can say set attribute you can say content here and this will define the value all right so so far so good into the in in this place but because the content may contain p tag and many other things so for this actually we need to 
define it in the save method in a different way. The way we can do that is using the rich text dot content. Okay, and the value is the content, and here we will say the tag name is equal to p. This is the p tag we are going to using, and that would be it. So in the editor section we can add many things. So for that we are going to use this rich text dot content. In a way we can display our content like this. So because the DOM structure has been changed, so we need to remove the block totally and hit refresh and let's add it again. And it's saying something is wrong. So let's see what happened. It is saying content is not defined. All right. So because we use this content, but we haven't uh, defined it here. So we need to say content like this. And also we need to say content here as well. All right. So let's remove the block again. Hit update and refresh again. This time let's add it again. All right. So as you can see, our placeholder is showing icon box title and icon box content goes here. So let's say learn Gutenberg again. And what we can say? All right. So let's hit update and check into the console again. Is there any error? No, it looks nice. So let's refresh the page and the value is staying as we expected. So the next thing what we need to do is to go into the page section and see what happens actually. So as you can see our value is coming as expected as well. So the value in the editor section and in the front end everything matches exactly the same. So this is how you can actually create or uh, add rich text into your custom blocks as well. So in the next video, I will show you how you can use inner blocks, meaning the built-in blocks of WordPress into your custom blocks. So see you in the next video.